So last week I woke up and realised it's one more week until Love Island. Ladies and gentlemen, Love Island is arguably the UK's biggest reality TV show. And this is how I faked going on Love Island. You people would not believe what happened in this video. Watch the video to the end to find out what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, the past week I have fooled you and the whole internet of going into Love Island 2019 and this is how it happened. Ooh, your boy is looking fresh, you know. I did some DIY myself. I'm gonna go to Hilton Hotel. Uh, we've got the Love Island at the bottom, the logo. Alright, so we found a location now. Oh, God, I'm stretched right now. Write a fake article on me going into Love Island. Trying to get into Love Island. If it is real, then remember me, bro. Earn a new sub. <laughs> so I grabbed my suitcase, went to Heathrow Terminal 4. I'm essentially going on Love Island. So how was I going to pull off this stunt, telling all my fans, everybody I know and the media that I was going to go on Love Island? Before I jumped any hurdles of this challenge, the first thing I needed was a plan. So guys, peep the outfit right now, I'm looking fly, I'm so gassed man. Whoa, 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 if we were going to try fake going on Love Island, we have to look the part. Let's change that outfit. Guys. This is the appropriate outfit to go on Love Island. We got the chain on, the plain black tee, the flowery shirt, the ice on the wrist. We got the sunglasses there. You know what I mean? This is how you go into Love Island. The white jeans. These is the essentials to be on Love Island. Oh, your boy is looking fresh, you know. But yeah, enough flexing. Let's get to the plan. So ladies and gentlemen, you might be wondering right now, what is the first key step to get into Love Island? Body and abs, that is literally an essential to get into Love Island. But as you can see for myself, I'm quite unfortunate with the body side. Number dos. Pictures. And a lot of it, we need a lot of pictures to be shown to the media, to the public, to all of you people to fool you that I'm going on Love Island. I've got to look the part and let's take some photos. Number three. Press, ladies and gentlemen. We got to put a lot of press out there for the public, the news articles to know that I'm going on there. The YouTube sensation. By the way, that does include articles, so I'm going to be writing up my own articles Faked, obviously. Number four. Word of mouth. Word of mouth, me telling people physically in public, is essential, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to get the word out there to the people of Britain, and not even just Britain, to the world. Num number, number five, number five. Social media marketing. That is for me, Oh, I've studied social media and digital marketing, so this should be quite easy for me. Put out there on all the different platforms that I'm going to be going to Love Island, for sure. By the way, at this part of the video, I'm sorry, the handwriting's just going completely off point. I'm sorry. You're probably going to be asking yourself, surely these five aren't enough to get into Love Island? And ladies and gentlemen, quite frankly, you are right. The fifth and final stage. <laughs> That's right, we need some coffee. We need to get... Hi! <coughs> I mean, the last one, it, it, it's not needed, but we still need to get high! So these are the five options. Obviously, we do need some more things that are included that aren't the top five, but are still part of it. I.e. one, being a man. If you want to be in Love Island, you're surrounded by beautiful women and girls, yeah? Or let's say women, all right? They're above the age of 18, of course. So we need to act like a man! Oh, oh, oh! Uh, yeah. So, okay, I've just heard word of my team, but we're not supposed to act like an animal, but more just uh, a masculine human being. Okay, cheers for clarifying. Oh, there's one more thing. We're not done there. Just before you think I'm done, there's one thing that everyone needs to do, and you see it on your phones when you go on Instagram, and that, my friends, is flexing. Flex. 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 Oh, no, no, just, we, we can't be doing this anymore. The AirPods, man. Flex, although these are actually really, as you can see, dirty as hell, so let's go give them a wash. Ladies and gentlemen, 
gentlemen, sit back, put your seatbelts on and enjoy the ride. Ladies and gentlemen, on the real, can you please hit that like button, subscribe down below if you haven't already, join the Nzingi Nation, hit that notification bell and let's move on with the video. So I needed some pictures to promote on social media and give to the media as if I was going on Love Island. Before I did pack my suitcase, this couldn't be any old ordinary suitcase. It had to be the Love Island one. So I did some DIY myself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's about five or six days away from Love Island being televised and you hopefully gonna be fooling you guys. We're heading off now to, uh, we've, we've already got a suitcase at home. To, to replicate the Love Island suitcase, we need, uh, quite frankly, a white suitcase. Um, and we don't have a white suitcase, we have a black suitcase. So we're gonna get some spray paint, spray paint here, add the little love heart uh, thing that they have on the suitcase with a, like, a pink Sharpie pen. So yeah, let's do this. All right, so we're at the store now, looking for the white. There we go, white spray paint, let's go. This looks tragic. That doesn't even look like a proper love heart. I can save this, don't worry. So I packed my bag, but hang on, whoa, 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 one second. What, well, I didn't really need to pack my bag if you think about it. I could have just brought the suitcase because I'm not showing the clothes inside and I'm not actually going on Love Island. But I still packed my bag. Alright, so we are dressed in the right attire now, as if we're going, we're gonna go to Hilton Hotel. Then I headed off to some luxury five-star places around my area to take some pictures. Let's go. The second thing you need, especially for the media, in terms of going into Love Island, is photos. Lots and lots of pictures. Alright, so we're on our way now to find... I don't know if we can find a location, but we're trying to find a location. Uh, somewhere where we can film outside some scenes of me next to this car here we're in now. I make it, I put the green screen there in the back as well, I don't know how it's there. To make it look like a really, really good car, like a Lamborghini or Ferrari, you know, to flex on them, to make them know that I'm worthy enough of going into Love Island. And people believe it as well. And just some nice scenes of me walking. I've got loads of different clothes back there as well that I'm going to change into. So let's do it. Alright, so we found a location now. This is the car. It's actually a quite a decent car ish, but it's not really. It's just customised. But we're going to stand in front of that now. Some with the green screen, some without, and try to get some good shots. Let's go. Bad boys, I got. I'm always in 80s. These, if you want to go in Love Island, the key it is, yeah, the slapperoonie knee ripped jeans. So after hours and hours on Photoshop with my talent, I somehow created a masterpiece. Alright, so after hours and hours on Photoshop, I've done my magic and this is what I've got so far. So as we can see, we have the lovely Love Island background, the official background, cut out the pictures of me in quite good quality. Uh, we've got the Love Island at the bottom, the logo, then we've got this. We've got this, this is the actual official picture what they use for Love Island uh, 2019. So I cut that out, copy and paste it. If people will notice though, I'm not sure if they will know, you can see a sort of a line there. I'm not sure if you can see, you can see a line. So that might give it away, but it says Josh there. This is how they're all laid out. Then we've got this, Josh, 18 Love Island to go to the press as well. Then we've got this one oi looking good there <laughs> then we got this one which like this if people i put this one on purpose because if people don't understand i'm actually bulking right now like honestly look how fat i look in this picture this is this is this is on another level ridiculous and we got this <laughs> this is my favorite josh leaked as if someone's leaked this new love island contestant to go on this year's 2019 love island josh 18 is a youtube sensation vlogger actor 
prankster rapper model from London. And what I want you guys to focus in on is this. He's a YouTube sensation, vlogger, actor, prankster. Um, yeah, pretty accurate. Prankster. Now, pretty much all we have to do left is release this to... Right, I need to take the AirPods. This is getting a joke now. I need to release this to the press, put it on social media, show it to my friends, and let's see how this goes. The next thing we need is press. We need to get the media and mainly the press interested in me going to Love Island and actually believing me. Oh, God, this is the nightmare. This is not going to work. Oh guys, I'm stressed right now. I'm hot, I'm sweating as you can see. Just want this to go perfectly. We're now calling BBC Radio London to try to convince them. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. Wow, they can track me down here. Oh, here we go. This is the moment. I'm trying to think what I'm going to say. So I need to, what does it say here? Hi there, um, just would like to report some news. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, so there's a YouTuber uh, in London that is going, is that's, well, there's a lot of rooms at the moment going on Love Island, and we found out some, like, concrete evidence of him going into Love Island next week, and right. pretty much nobody knows, so, uh, if, do you want to, can I sell this information on? You sell it? Yeah. Um, what, who is it? Uh, so, in Inzingy. He's a, he's a big YouTuber, well, he's, oh, when I say big, he's, he's a semi-small YouTuber from the UK, but he contacted uh, Love Island about a week and a half ago, because I don't actually know him personally. Um, um they well, allowed... I, 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 I admire you um, giving us a call, but I don't really think it's something that our audience is up for. I mean, we're a massive YouTube channel, we're a local radio station aimed at over 40s. Um, yeah. I don't think we're ready to want a call. Radio 1, yeah. That's no yeah, problem. You can, cool. you can find the number online, I don't have it to hand. No, no problem. No, Cheers, good luck with it, though. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye, mate. Oh my god, we just got off the phone. I didn't think that was going to work, but we've just got off the phone to them. They said call Radio 1. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's do Thank this. Thank you for calling Radio 1. Your name and number will be stored securely for up to okay. one year for verification purposes. Or in case you need to contact you about your... A few inches later. What? You are busy, come on. Is it gonna call? It seems it's calling. That's the, that's not a good sound. So even though like they said they could take the information on, I reckon he's got it up in here, so he's gonna spread the word, which he's gonna spread the word. Come on, up the boys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like literally like this video, I'm, I'm gonna take your phone off you. You you watch or whatever device you oh, but give that here now then. Like this video. I'm gonna call Capital FM right now to see if we can tell the radio station that we're going on Love Island. Thank you for calling BBC Radio 2. Ooh. So because they've literally told me not to add this in the video at all. They said I can't use it. I was thinking of just showing you guys anyway, but I literally can't because They'll track me down. I mean, it's BBC, all right? It's a big radio station. So I did tell them. They had a conversation. They were very intrigued. There were people laughing on the phone in the station. Um, this is nuts. I think people are starting to believe this. So the plan to get a fake Love Island article was to go to Fiverr.com, pay $5 to a publicist to write a fake article on me in Zingy going into Love Island. So I purchased the goods, but then I cancelled the order because I realised it was too late. It said it was going to take seven days and I could not wait this long. The only way I could have completed this article is if I wrote it myself. So I went through some of my English books from school and college. But did you really believe that I kept my old college book after being a college dropout myself? No, these are just cooking books. Pathetic. I then used my English techniques and persuasive writing skills to write a fake article on me going into Love Island by ITV themselves. I added a web link and I posted this on all my social media so people would think this real. Bear in mind, as the days go closer to the launch day of Love Island, people are messaging me uh, and are getting a bit suspicious of me not being in Love Island as the cast has already been announced and I haven't. So to them people, I just, I just sort of ignored you. I just ignored you. But back to the project. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, I've just woken up, as you can tell by my voice, I, need, I might need to trim the beard, you know, does the beard make me go in Love Island, I'm not sure, but let's go, another day, another dollar, trying to get into Love Island, faking you lot, let's go. Morning guys, I'm tired, it's currently 7am. In the morning, oh, we have to wake up today. You're gonna have to fool you lot. The f first, what I'm planning to do today, so I've got the photos. 
I've got a little bit of press and emails ready. I need to tell my close loved ones and friends about this more particularly because there are people that they may not watch the videos as much. Uh, I'm sure they do, but they don't watch it as much as, as you people watch this video now. So what we're going to do now is going to we have a group chat essentially, like most most lads do. The typical lads group chat containing of four members, including me, me, Zach, Howard, Harrison. So it's on Snapchat as well. So we're going to go on here now. It's called OG, by the way, old geezers, old gangster, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to say, because I know that they will, I feel like they will clock on, but if I say it the right way, they might believe me. And also, I can't scream record this, so. I'm going to start saying, lads, come on, oh, no, that, might be, that might be too bait, I'm not sure, I'm going to put lads. Uh, got something I need to tell you, this might be quite long, uh, like, on a real, I'm going to put, I reached out to... Love Island to be featured on Love Island. <laughs> this is what's gonna get them because I'm I'm proper saying it like don't do not say a word, all right? Don't say a word, guys. Like, honestly, I'm really I'm such a bad liar. I hate lines, my friends. Harrison's already popped up, and he, he thinks he's gonna say something. I I think they're not clock on. But next, we're gonna call my brother. This is gonna be hella difficult because I'm actually gonna call him this time. Because I don't think I'll text him for something like this. <laughs> he's he's a smart guy. He's not he's not a dumb guy. He's a smart he's a smart kid. So I say kid. He's older than me. He's twenty now, but I, th I think he might know. But we're gonna call him. Here we go. My brother. This is the voicemail service. Shit. Oh my god, Harrison's replied. No, this is nuts. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. Harrison has put. Wait, where is it? He put no way. No way you're on Love Island. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put back. I think I'm gonna put. I sit. I put. I know it's. F***ing. I have to swear here because like this is not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, viewers watching this. Yeah, uh, parental advisory. But this is how I would actually write. I know it's f***ing mental and unbelievable. I feel so bad. I thought of all people, Harrison would be like, no, bullshit. You're not going on there. Oh my god, Do you know he's just put, that's actually, a, first of all, Harrison, you bitch, you, that's a disrespect to me. He's put, you're gonna be at a disadvantage though. No word of a lie. He put, your body won't be like other guys. I know, but I'm working on intense training, man. You won't believe. And then ha Harrison put, Howie, what's your opinion on this matter? Don't air it, Howard. Like, it's getting heated. I hope Howard doesn't ruin it. Because I remember I told Howard when he was at my house last when we was filming. I said, I got, or not on the phone, I've got a, a big video idea around Love Island, but I'm not telling you what it is. F no, I'm stressing. We need more caffeine. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Josh trying to link girls. That look like Demi Rose. How is it? Harrison, the thing is, like, you haven't seen the fucking intense training I've gone through. Like, it. I, once you see me, like, if you see me in a couple of weeks, like, my body has transformed. Oh no, I sent it. He said, he said, Girl, girls are gonna go to others before you do it. If I went in the house, that would happen because I'm not exactly in the best shape. Are you on this year's Love Island then? I, I'm gonna put yes. My brother's calling. My brother's calling. Yo, Cam. Yeah, what's up? Oh, wait, did. But uh, you have time, I need to talk to you about something. It's like, actually quite important. Yeah, what is it? But I'm not sure if Dad talked to you or not yet. What is it about? Um, oh, but I, like, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say this because you, you probably think it's a lie or it's for a video or I'm pranking everyone, or, but it's, it's really not. Like, basically, the last few weeks, I was just emailing loads of different uh, TV shows and just different celebrities and random people because I always thought if you if you don't try in life, you don't get. And base and I, don't, I honestly did not know how to say this, and that's why I've been every single day going to the gym. If you haven't noticed, but I'm essentially going on Love Island, like legitimately, like actually fact factual. Okay. Um, why? Why don't you talk to me? Because he said he was gonna he was gonna explain everything to you. Because basically you can't obviously. It's, I mean I'm, you, I know I trust you too obviously, but you can't say a word because I signed a release form and a contract that that like you can't. Why are you telling me 
No, no, but, but the thing is, if, for example, if I just told some of my friends or something, I, I wouldn't do that because that's stupid. But that said that you needed to know. I, I said, Why? okay. I don't know. He said that I have to tell everyone in the family. So pretty much everyone. Well, I don't know, I don't know if everyone knows, but most people do know. Uh, but the way it works is like I've been given a suitcase, the official Love Island suitcase. I can even show you. Uh, like I've been going in like the second week of it being televised, so not the first week, but the second week. Why? Um, I, I don't know. Like it's, it's proper overwhelming because I've never done anything on TV. I mean, I've never even been in that spotlight really, and I think it's gonna. Because, but I, I basically sent a big formal email saying how I'm a small YouTuber, but not just that. Like how I'm struggling in general and just stuff and then like they got back to me no, no one else got back to me but they got back to me okay because i'm over 18 as well so like anyone obviously over 18 can go in yeah true i, I was i was gonna ask you more like not probably now you have to think about like any like tip but you don't then again you don't watch it but any tips of going uh, uh, getting in there or anything Oh, I thought, well, at least like something, I don't know, you're like the wise one in the family, God. I'm what? You're the wise one, you're meant to be the wise one. Okay, uh, um, okay. So, so this is your, your thing, if you, you know, you want to do it, do it, do it, do it. No, I'm, I have to, I'm, I'm definitely doing it, I've signed everything. Alright, okay. Right. Oh my God, I feel so bad, and he put, this is actually stressing me out. Harrison said we shall and I said good guys let's troll you people you gotta have body and abs body and abs that is all unfortunately as you can see I'm nowhere near that shape and need to start hitting the gym realistically I wasn't cut out for the gym lifestyle so I used the power of Photoshop to transform my body I had to make this project even more believable that I was actually flying to Mallorca. So I grabbed my suitcase, went to Heathrow Terminal 4. I faked paparazzi. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry for this. This is embarrassing. But it's on my channel and I faked paparazzi. I then took a picture of my passport and the airport and video and added to my Instagram and Snapchat stories. Tagging that I was in Heathrow Airport flying to Mallorca. Alright guys, so it's very late at night. It's um, currently... 10.53, uh, it's been a long day. The problem is I'm working so hard on this project that I keep sleeping, I keep taking naps during the day and it's not healthy because I'm procrastinating, I'm losing time, there's only a few more days to go. All right, let me just tell you guys what's been happening all day today. I've been having messages left, right and centre from my friends, family, everyone freaking out that I'm actually going because more and more time's passing, more and more photos and press being released, they're starting to believe it. And it, the one question everyone asks me, Where's the proof? The proof lies in the pudding, and guys, I'm people, ladies, gentlemen, I've got no pudding. The one thing I did tell everyone in response to our, everyone asked me that that is being fake by that. If it is fake, I'm telling them no. I'm saying it's an illegal contract, but I can't say anything about or show any sort of contract or you know <laughs> release forms. All right, guys. So after going back and forth with Louis, he sent me this. Surely, just a video. It's too hard to believe. Oh lord. So as we can see here, ladies and gentlemen, Louis. My good friend has fallen right into the trap. I've got him right in my palm. Me and Louis went back and forth for about half an hour talking about it. He was speculating, but then he said this. Okay then, I guess time will tell if I'm right. And yes, it will tell. And yes, Louis, my friend, you are right. Another good friend of mine, Adam Bentley, also fell for this ridiculous stunt of mine. And this is what he said. He put you act going on TV? WTF? How? He also asked me if I'm going to be on this year's Love Island or next year's and I responded to that this year's Love Island. And he, re and he ended it with madness. <laughs> oh, I'm such a c Also in the OG chat, my boys, Zach Howard and Harrison, shout out to them <laughs> for falling for this trick as well. Zach also added, we've been talking about this all day and I've been discussing with them um, and trying to persuade them and they sort of believe me. Howard's not, <laughs> not taking any of it. Harrison has fell for it and Zach is on edge. Zach said, I want proof or you're a massive minge. <laughs> oh, I am. I, I, I really am, my friend. And to everyone watching this video, I fooled you all. Let's just play a quick montage of all the people that fell for it. I'm actually starting.
starting to pull this off. People are believing this. Everyone's wishing, like, you've just seen all the comments. Everyone's wishing me good luck on my video. There's one person, though. One person. My arch nemesis, my enemy. Well, I don't even know the kid, but menacing man city. He said, if you're going on Love Island, you're not allowed to tell anyone or put anything on social media. So this is obviously fake. What? This is not, well, it is fake, but this is not fake right now. But still a decent video. So you know what? Cheers. Thanks for the love, my bro. Also, Hayden here commented on my video as well, says, as much as I don't believe this due to the fact that Love Island don't usually allow publicity before going on the island. I'm such an idiot. But nevertheless, he carried on to say, if it is real, then remember me, bro. Earn a new sub. Cheers, my guy. People are literally subscribing to me and I'm getting fame and clout by this. And I'm not even going anywhere. I'm sitting in the comfort of my own home. <sighs> so I guess we just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The funniest thing as well is that my guy Toby, shout out to Tobio, good YouTuber, um, he said, what the fuck, A, hey, gonna get extra baddies for me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you funny mother uh, I do actually appreciate all the actual support from you guys. You people have actually been giving me advice on social media and everything, saying, good luck on this, be sure to be yourself, elevate me. I feel like I'm actually going on Love Island at this point. Mm. Alright guys, so it's currently Saturday morning. There's two days left, Sunday and Monday, to the release of Love Island, and there's still a lot of work to do. I currently just woke up. Having the breakfast, got some tea and some uh, croissants or cro croissants. I'm sorry for that, that was terrible. I, oh, no, I actually feel bad, I'm sorry, that was an awful impression. But this is what I've noticed, right? As time has gone by, more and more people are starting to believe it. But on the same hand, more and more people are also think like getting skeptical about it, like the timing in which I'm going. So currently now, I should be in Mallorca. I'm not answering my phone to anyone. I put my plane on aer or aeroplane mode. I need to try find, I can't ask you in the comments because this video would gone out by then, but I'm gonna try find to see if there's an app on my phone that allows when people, because if someone calls me now, like my mates or anyone in my family, then they'll know that I'm still in the UK and not abroad because of the ringtone. So I'm gonna try find an app for that, but for now, we're going aeroplane mode. These are the levels we've actually gone to, ladies and gentlemen, to fool you people. I've, I've, had, I've made my own fake paparazzi uh, sort of video in uh, Heathrow Airport yesterday. We went to Heathrow Airport last night. Well, I mean, you would have saw the uh, footage of that anyway. So I've got to do one more thing in public left, and I've got one uh, gym scene that I need to do uh, in the gym. So, yeah. But also, when we was at Heathrow Airport, we also went to Hilton Hotel because there was a lot of different places as if I was checking in at a hotel. That you wouldn't really know it's Hilton unless you probably go there all the time, but nice place, not near the foyer, um, near the like the reception, down in the seating area of the bar. I'm gonna post them while I'm on holiday, or on holiday allegedly. It has to be today and tomorrow. Um, and then I'm just gonna be sitting there watching Love Island as well, because I'm actually interested in Love Island this year. I actually always am. And just see it all unravel. Alright, so we've got the laptop here now. Also, don't ask me why I have a, uh, a pimp mug. I'm not a pimp, I promise. Wow. We've got Twitter opened up, Facebook opened up. Uh, we're going to be tweeting out the articles and some of the pictures. Right, so we made this fake article and it's actually on. It's actually online, like live, where you can click onto different things and it takes you to different pages of like radio times and different things like that. So this is very believable. I wrote a whole section about me. Uh, and it's, if you read this, like if you screenshot it and you read it or you saw it on my social media, then this is really cringy, some of the things I said, but on purpose. YouTube sensation, Joshua Singh. Oh, God. Can he handle real love in the villa? <laughs> Look at me, age 18, South one, L L West London, England, YouTuber, come on, let's go. This is the worst one, yeah, everyone at home are going to cringe at this. He said to ITV in his application interview, I will dominate the villa how I dominate YouTube. Hopefully I can charm the ladies with my YouTube accomplishments. Oh my days. I mean, it's not far off of what I'd usually say. No, I'm joking, that, that is actually tragic, that's a shamble. But I'm gonna tweet this out right now. My first love Island article is out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've done all magic and it somehow worked. Use the hashtags Love Island. There we go. Here, here we go. This is what's going to get us attracted, and the people watching the show are actually able to see that going on. Well, allegedly. First retweet. No, first like. It's actually by my brother. I like the tweet. So, 
It might be believable, I don't know. It's so annoying because the two people, yeah, that are trying to pull me down in this are Louis and Harry Baker. Like, they're both, Louis and Baker, they're both trying to pull me down because they've clocked on. I, uh, I mean, I think they half believe, but also they, they're very suspicious. All right, so now we're going to release some of the photos. And I'm sorry, guys. Like, I know I'm going to, I'm normally am on point and good with Photoshop, but this time I just panicked and I was in a rush. And, like, it looks, it looks so bad. It looks so fake, but we're going to have to run with that at this point. Let's see what the public say. I think this one is my best one as in like it's believable it's got the shadow there it's something that love island would actually put out this one here, on the other hand oh not quite so sure i mean it's just not it's just i just got a generic background i put myself over it it might work though the quality is good and this last one i mean there's no chance is there i mean it just that's the same thing as my thumbnail so people are going to also clock on as well i mean these next ones aren't actually that bad because they have my name in it. i mean i'll just look fat there uh some of these look realistic i might use only some of them this is the one that's gonna be funny leaked like i just leaked it people already know i'm going on there also this is the one i'm interested in because this is good quality but it doesn't oh, does it look like i'm there i mean i tried to put a shadow there or not like a blurry black around with me like meant to be in Mallorca. This is the one that is so fake. I might not post this. Because look, the contrast of me, for some reason, I had like a filter put on that picture. It does not look real. That one, oh my, that is the worst one yet. You can clearly see I'm just being placed on there on Photoshop. That one, and yeah, oh my god. I might have to because it does have a shadow, so let's just go for that. Well, as you can see, we have loads and loads and loads of pictures here. Uh, me and when, some pictures when I was at the airport and so on. So, uh, yeah, we're going to use some of these uh, to the fullest of its advantage and try to fool people, essentially. So, first place is going out now on my Instagram. I'm going to choose a good one as if I've just sort of landed. I'm going to choose... This one here looks nice, so it looks nice. I'm going to put... Um, actually, I'm going to put more than... I'm going to put multiple pictures. I'm going to put this one, and I'm also going to put... Um, which one else? I'm going to put this one, and I'm going to put this one. I'm going to put these three because they're the most believable ones. Uh, so we're going to put these three photos on Instagram now. We're going to put a believable caption, so the caption actually is so good that an Instagram person would put on that, like, it distracts them away from the fact that I'm faking it. Landed in Mallorca. Meh. I'm going to put meh. No big deal. Anyways, gassed uh, for gassed to appear on Love Island. I'm going to put the tree there as well. Alright, and then we're also going to put add location. We're going to put Mallorca because no, nobody would actually know. Like That's what I'm saying. People put tags, yeah? But really, are they actually in that position? For me, no. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, it's posted. It's de it's actually posted now. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I printed out some flyers, Love Island flyers, that said vote in Zingy and handed out a bunch of these leaflets to the public so they knew I was going in Love Island. Alright, okay, we're here at Hunter Court Palace. We move these, these are fake, obviously. We're going to give them out to the public. Vote in Zingy, let's go. This absolute son of a bitch denied my flyers. Shame on you and your bald head. But wait, surely that can't be all the steps. And yes, you're right, there's one final, final stage 
to going into Love Island. Um, just drink, drink some coffee. You really? Just sit back, relax, drink some coffee. I guess the moral of the story is don't believe the hype. Do not believe everything you see online, whether that be cars, money, girls, fame. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry that I straight up just lied to you. I'm not a liar, but I had to lie to you for the video. And you lot are so stupid, so stupid to believe all these lies I've made up. Joking, please subscribe, like the video, please. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure pranking and fooling all you people. How stupid. And yes, you, st stupid, all right? Like, honestly, I've done a good job to pull this off. I had the press, I had the social media marketing, had the fake pictures. Shout out to Photoshop, the Lord. I don't have the apps, unfortunately, but with the power of Photoshop, I can have anything. Shout out to everyone in this process that's helped me make this possible, which actually... It's just, just myself, really, so pat on the back for me. Thank you guys for watching on the real note. I'm so sorry for lying. I actually feel bad now. I'm going to cry in my sleep. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share this video. Let's try and get 100 likes on this video. I would much appreciate that. Turn on that post notification bell, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeet! Oh, my back. And peace.